Good morning, and welcome to our first of the daily devotionals that come from the official devotional guide for the Church of the Nazarene called Reflecting God. And we will be reading these daily devotionals every day. There's a uh, Bible verse that goes along with that. I'll read that, and then I'll read the uh, daily descriptions, and those will be our devotionals for each day. The scripture reading for today's devotional is Psalm 19, 1 through 7. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day, they pour, pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. That's the word of God. Each day... There is a different uh, contributing writer to the daily um, devotional, the Reflecting God. And today it is from Dwayne Bush, Brush from Quincy, Illinois, and he is a retired pastor. And this is what he says, Dark Sky Encounter. Have you ever really seen a night sky? Too few have. The problem is what astronomers call light pollution. Since most people live in or near brightly lit cities, they only see a handful of the brightest stars and planets. Our need for outdoor living is driven by our desire for safety and security. We have exchanged the glory of the heavens to secure ourselves and what we own. A fair exchange, some might say, perhaps a necessity, but at a high price. In early February 1986, I traveled far out into the eastern plains of Colorado. It would likely be the only opportunity in my lifetime to see the fabled Halley's Comet. On the edge of a vast frozen wheat field, I pulled on my parka and hood. With gloved hands, I grabbed my binoculars. The sky was covered with stars like diamonds on black velvet. Among the myriad of stars, I spotted the comet. I couldn't help but declare with David, the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. How can anyone gaze on such majesty and not respond in worship? And there is a line from a, from a psalm, for the beauty, or from a song, For the Beauty of the Earth, by Foliot S. Pierpoint. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, Lord of all, to thee we rise. This our hymn of grateful praise. And there is another verse that goes along with this reading today. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that is from John 8, 12. That's the daily devotional for today. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.